Hello friends, subscribe technology and press the bell icon to never miss the updates. If you are using Windows 10 PC or laptops and if your computer is showing error like your PC run into a problem, you need to restart your computer, then today in this video, I am going to show you guys how to fix this type of error in your Windows 10 PC or laptop. So this problem is mainly happened due to blue skin error. So don't forget to watch this video till the end and if it is works for you, don't forget to hit the like button and comments down below. So the first step is you have to go to your advanced option and you have to click on startup repair. So for that you need to uh, go to your start menu first and click on the settings button over there. And after that on the search box you have to type over there recover and you have to click on this recovery option. And now from the left side corner you have to select recovery and from the right side corner you have to select uh, restart now under advanced setup. So click on restart now. Make sure that you have inserted your DVD or bootable pen drive on your computer. So after that you will get this window. So you have to click on this troubleshoot button over there. And after that click on advanced option. Now click on startup repair. So now select your account and put the password of your user ID. After that as you can see it's showing diagnosis, uh, diagnosis your PC. So you have to wait for a few minutes. It will fix all your problem. The next step is you have to go to your start menu and type over your CMD. Now right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator after that you have to click on yes you have to put some command over there on your command prompt the command is sfc then space then slash scan now after that press enter from your keyboard So now as you can see verification has been started. So it will scan your PC. If there was any corrupted file it will fix your problem. So you have to wait for few minutes. So the next method is if you have created any restore point on your Windows 10 PC then just go to your last restore point. You need to go to your run box and type over there RSTRUI dot exe so i will give you this command on my video description after that press enter from your keyboard and you will get your system restore uh setting and now go to your go to the next option and as you can see i have already created so i will click on next and then click on finish after that it will restore my last restore point so if you don't know how to create a system restore point then i have already made a video on this topic so i will give you the link on my video description so the next method is modify the memory dump setting on your Windows 10 computer. For that you need to open run box on your computer just pressing Windows and R button together. And after that here you need to type uh, sysdm.cpl. Okay, so I will give you the link, uh, the command on my video description. After that press enter. Now you will get the system properties. So you have to go to the advanced and under startup and recovery you have to click on setting. So now make sure that you have unchecked this option that is automatically restart and under write debugging information you have to select here complete memory dump after that click on ok now to restart your computer the next method is go to your ms config just go to your run box pressing windows on up together and after that type over there ms config and press enter from your keyboard. Now you will get the system configuration window. So you have to go to the boot option and make sure that you have checked this option is called set boot. After that you have to click on apply and then ok. Now you have to restart your computer. So after enable save boot and restart your computer your PC will be shown like this. So what you have to do you need so you need to go to your control panel and after that just select here category 
and from here you have to uninstall your recent install application from your computer okay after that you have to uh, again go to ms config and you have to uncheck this option save boot and click on apply and okay and you have to restart your computer so the last method is uninstall your essential drivers like wi-fi adapter uh, uh, ethernet adapter or your vg adapter so for that you need to go to your device management tool just open runbox uh, on your computer pressing windows and r button together after that type over there dev uh, device means device uh, mgmt and then msc now press enter from your keyboard and after that you will get this uh, device manager tool so now you have to expand the display adapter and right click on your display adapter right now i'm using virtual box uh, graphics adapter so that's the reason it's showing like this so you have to click on uninstall device and make sure that you have uh, unchecked this option which is delete the driver software uh, driver software for this device uh, otherwise it will delete uh, delete it your uh, driver software okay so make sure that it is it is unchecked okay so after that you have to click on uninstall and now you have to uh, go to your network adapter and right click on your adapter and go to the click on uninstall device and click on uninstall after that you have to restart your computer and it will fix your problem so i hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any questions or questions then comments down below i will see you guys on the next one next video take care